okay now remember after adding no right solution we have to bring it back to boiling and do the hot filtration so this is the setup that you should have for hot filtration the stemless funnel which you had preheated in the oven bring it and place it on the ring stand you can attach this ring stand directly onto the monkey bar or if your hands don't reach and you are very uncomfortable working at that depth you can get this ring stand and attach the ring to the ring stand and then place the stemless funnel now to do the hot filtration it has to be very fast so if i just place a filter paper the filtration is going to be uh, not that fast yes it will do the filtration but it will not be that fast so i want to do something to the regular filter paper that you always use for filtering remember you did gravity filtration in your uh, general chemistry lab and you all all you did was fold this filter paper in quarters and then you opened it and placed it in but that is not what i'm going to do here i am going to fold this filter paper into a fluted pattern how do we do this uh, you have seen it already i have folded this into quarters fold the filter paper again and then open the filter paper into the half now we will start folding this semicircle into fluted pattern or like chinese fan so you bring one fold in then at that line you fold it back again fold it in fold it back fold it in fold it back and fold it in so alternate folding it in and out sort of origami if you will so then open your filter paper now this is what it looks like the fluted filter paper it just increases the surface area provided for filtration so the filtration goes very rapidly place it in the stemless funnel you notice that it is popping up obviously because there is nothing that is holding it so what i want to do is add some hot solvent so it sort of stays in place and at the same time i'm warming the filter paper because i am using hot solvent everything that is used during hot filtration has to be hot okay now in this flask i have already added a couple of boiling stones now we are ready to filter many times what students do is use this test tube holder to hold the hot erlenmeyer flask the test tube holder has the name test tube holder for a reason it can hold only test tubes nothing else so please do not use the test tube holder to you to lift the erlenmeyer flask so what you can do is just fold a piece of paper towel make it as a handle this way you don't get burnt even if it is hot we can handle the hot flask hold it in this fashion okay and then carefully lift it and pour the solution along the glass rod on to the filter paper you want to make sure that there is a lot of liquid on the filter paper otherwise it starts to cool right there and you will lose crystals 
what do I mean by hot? You want to fill it as much as possible, but not let it overflow on to the funnel outside of the paper, which means you want to fill it up to about a centimeter below the edge of the filter paper. This is the edge about a centimeter. So keep adding. So this way you don't lose any solid. And notice why we have used the stemless funnel. What happens to the filtrate if you use this regular funnel with a stem? Remember Joel Thompson's effect. Anything that goes through a column cools. So if there is a stem, the solution will be cooling as it goes through the stem. Crystals will form. It will clog the funnel and you will lose your crystals. That is the reason when we do hot filtration, we use a stemless funnel. So let us continue to do the filtration. 